name is Melissa Russo. I am project coordinator for the remote monitoring and control group here with SES. And I'm here to talk to you about drone services and how I got involved in the field. Um, just to start off with, some of the services we provide include thermal, methane leak detection, LIDAR, topographic mapping, stockpile and density calculations, 3D point cloud, and of course, 2D aerial images. I became interested in becoming a drone pilot after realizing how many applications you can use with a drone. Um, also, just getting a little bit more background on me, I started on the administrative team with SES. And believe it or not, there was a period of time that I really longed to be out in the field and learning our industry firsthand rather than from the office. And being a drone pilot gives me the most amazing perspective of our sites. Not only that, but the amount of data I can gather within a single flight, which is about 100 acres in an hour, just blows my mind. So ultimately, I'm saving SES and our clients time and money with each flight. We currently have about a dozen drones within our fleet, but it really depends on the job objective as to which one I would use. For example, for highly accurate survey images or topos, I would use the DJI Phantom RTK for its real-time kinematic ability, whereas for methane leak detection, let's say, where I'm attaching a tunable laser and increasing the payload, the Matri 600 Pro is really the way to go. But before even starting a job or even proposing on a job, I have to check the airspace to ensure I have clearance. My favorite app is AirMap, where I can draw a boundary, I can zoom in, and it tells me exactly what restrictions are in that area. If the airspace even has any restrictions, which in some cases they do, I have to request a waiver with the FAA or the local airspace authority. Once I'm cleared to fly and the flight has been scheduled with the client, Pre-flight prep then begins, checking the aircraft structure, the battery health, firmware updates, and creating a flight path are incredibly important, as well as logging your pre-flight check to ensure a successful survey. You definitely don't want to be stuck out in the field and not be able to get up in the air. That is the worst feeling, and I intend not to be in that situation, so I do everything I can to prepare for a flight ahead of time. Um, after the aerial flight data is collected, post-processing then begins. My preferred photogrammatic software is Pix4D. I upload the images and I let Pix4D crunch up all the data. Within hours, Pix4D generates 3D point cloud, crisp 2D images, and a flight report which gives us verification of the accuracy of the data. Using that data, we can create topos, thermal maps, methane leakage detection, the sky really is a limit. It's fascinating how much data is gathered within a few pictures, and it's amazing how quick the technology is moving and improving the way we collect data. I am personally most excited to see how we can expand this technology to different industries as well. Why limit ourselves?